So you want to open a clothing store, whether that be online only or maybe an actual brick and mortar, or maybe you just build out a full clothing boutique in a trailer that you drive to local events. Either way, you're probably curious about how much clothing store owners make. So what we're going to talk about today is I pulled a sampling of some of my clothing store friends and asked them to share what they make in sales per month. So we're going to take a look at what they said. They're going to provide details about what business format they use, whether that's online only, brick and mortar, combination, things like that. And some of them gave a couple of additional tips. And then at the end, we'll go through some suggestions they had to help you increase sales. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at average sales per month and not total revenue. So when some stores get started, they choose to be online only and never plan to open a brick and mortar. On the other hand, some stores choose to have an online presence, but also have a physical brick and mortar retail location. You might also consider creating a mobile boutique where you build out a trailer and take that trailer to local events and increase your local sales. Now, if you do want to have a brick and mortar, you might consider opening two brick and mortars because you're going to target different people in different locations and potentially increase sales. Now, if you aren't ready to open a brick and mortar up yet, you could consider renting out a local booth at a vendor place to increase sales. Now, if you are brand new and have hardly made any sales yet, don't get discouraged. You have plenty of time to learn and grow and increase sales. Now, it can be really helpful to go live on a platform like Facebook to increase sales and also really know your target audience and build a brand with a niche like plus size. Now, some stores start out online and then over time they save up capital to eventually open a brick and mortar down the line. Once again, if you're brand new and you're watching this and you just opened and haven't made any sales outside of your friends and family, do not feel discouraged. Everyone starts somewhere and you've got time. So this one's an interesting one. This store owner made $8 million in a single year, not per month for this one, but her revenue was super low because her expenses were so high, she had too many people on staff and she spent way too much on other expenses like advertisements. So at the end of the day, she hardly had any to take home and she was miserable. She felt very burned out. So what she did was she reinvented her store, cut back on everything. Now she makes half that in revenue, but her expenses are much lower and she can actually bring home much more and is much happier overall. Now location is important. If you are in a high foot traffic area in a small town with no competition, you might be good to go. And when you are brand new and you've just opened, pop-up events at local vendor events are a great way to bring in sales and grow. I also decided to pull some of my subscribers on YouTube to see where all of you guys stand in terms of sales per month. And you'll notice that most of my subscribers have made under $500 per month in their boutique. So that just proves that it's okay for you guys to be figuring things out. It's common and many people are in this boat where they've just opened, they're trying to learn, which is why you're coming to my channel, right? And you need time to figure out who your customer base is and start to learn about advertisements and all of the things you need to be successful. So don't feel discouraged if you are brand new. Now in terms of revenue versus profit, how we factor that is total net income minus total expenses is going to give you your total revenue. Now a lot of stores shared their total sales, but they didn't share their total revenue. And those are all 
those results might surprise you because in the example we have on the screen here, if a boutique is making 34 K per month, but their expenses are 32 K per month, that's going to give them a total revenue of $2,000. Now, some of the expense examples could be things like your rent, your, um, staff, your store staff paying their hourly rate or advertisements, advertisement fees, things like that. So when you factor that all in, if you're only bringing $2,000 compared to the other example on the screen where a boutique is making $4,000 in sales, but they only have 1,500 in expenses, then they're going to actually be more profitable in terms of revenue than the store making 34 K. So what that tells us is it's important to keep expenses low and realize that just because your store is not bringing in a ton of sales, that doesn't mean you can't be profitable. And you also want to consider when to pay yourself. A lot of the times, a lot of the time in the beginning, we aren't in a place where we can pay ourselves yet, but over time you want to make that a goal. So for some additional tips, I recommend starting out with no debt. Don't take out a business loan. If you can avoid it, do whatever you can to get ready to open your boutique debt free. You also want to think about what types of products you're selling and what the markup for those products will be. Cause if you're selling socks that are $15, you have a much smaller markup range than if you're selling a $200 gown. So you want to think about what type of products you're selling and what those price points are and what else, you know, there are so many things you can do to increase your chances of being a successful store. A lot of that involves just knowing your numbers, understanding the metrics, having the right advertisement plan. Sometimes that requires that you take classes online, whether you're going through some type of boot camp or taking an online course through a website like Udemy or watching YouTube videos. So all that to be said, you can grow over time. You just need to make a plan and stick to it. Now, lastly, if you want to learn about what you need to do to open your own online store, I have lots of videos on my YouTube channel. I've got some playlists that you might want to check out. I've got an introduction to opening an online store playlist and I'll link it down in the description bar down below, but you'll learn everything you need to do in terms of setting up your boutique legally, how much things cost when you're getting started and what types of things you need to look out for. I also have tips for social media. I've got tips about where to find wholesale vendors as well as all the Shopify secrets and tips and tricks you need to build your website and set it up successfully. And lastly, if you are struggling to make sales and you've been open for a little while, I highly recommend trying out a local pop-up event. I've got videos about how to plan for your pop-up event and where to find pop-up events and what you need to do at your pop-up event to be successful. So with that, Make sure you check out all of the playlist in the description bar down below. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know if you'd be interested in learning more about opening a brick and mortar. I'm thinking about creating a series targeted specifically for brick and mortar store owners and providing tips based off of real store owners who already went through the process of opening a brick and mortar. So make sure you comment down below and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.